welcome back! My name is Emily and I work for Caesar at the University of Memphis. Now that you are an expert at identifying solids, liquids, and gases, we are going to take our knowledge a little bit further by learning how each state of matter can change into a new one. We will also learn the scientific names for each of those changes. If you didn't get to watch the first video, for an introduction to the states of matter, click the link in the description and then come back here. Matter can change forms in many ways. We are going to start with melting. Melting is the phase change from solid to liquid. Look at this ice cube. I left it out on the table for a few hours and checked on it occasionally. Every time I came back to it, the ice cube had gotten smaller and the bowl was slowly filling up with water. But what caused this to happen? Heat. Melting occurs when the energy of a solid is increased due to the application of a heat source. The heat causes the solid's molecules to speed up and spread out, which then creates a liquid. Here's another example. The wax of this candle is currently in solid form. If I light the candle, the heat from the flame will begin the process of melting, in which the wax will go from a solid to a liquid. The opposite of melting is freezing. Freezing is the phase change from a liquid to a solid. This process removes heat energy from a liquid, which slows down that liquid's molecules and turns it into a solid. Think about what happens when you fill a tray with water and place it into the freezer. After some time, the water in the tray will have frozen into ice cubes. Can you think of more examples of freezing? I'm thinking of snow. When the air in the sky gets very cold, the water vapor forming clouds freezes and can fall to the ground as snow. Evaporation is the process of a liquid turning into a gas. Think about what you see when you boil a pot of water. When steam begins rising from the pot as the water heats up, you are observing the process of evaporation. Evaporation occurs when a liquid is exposed to increased heat energy, which causes its molecules to speed up and spread even further apart. This is often talked about in the water cycle, but happens in our everyday lives. In the water cycle, the sun heats the earth and surface water will rise into the air and turn into a water vapor. That is evaporation. When a gas turns into a liquid, that is called condensation. You may also know this term already. Condensation forms when a gas is cooled down to the point where its molecules begin to slow their movement and become closer together. This forms a liquid. Have you ever left your water bottle or other drink outside on a hot day? You may have noticed that the outside of the bottle gets very wet while it sits there. That is condensation. In the water cycle, condensation takes the form of clouds. Unlike the other terms we have covered so far, this one may be unfamiliar to you. Sublimation is the phase change from a solid to a gas. Sublimation is caused by heat absorption so intense that the solid skips the melting phase and instantly turns into a gas. This can happen in the water cycle when snow, which is a solid, becomes a water vapor without melting first. An example of sublimation is dry ice, which is a frozen form of carbon dioxide. When dry ice gets exposed to the air, it instantly changes its phase from solid to gas. Another unfamiliar term is deposition. The phase change from a gas to a solid. Deposition occurs when thermal energy is entirely removed from the gas. The air can get so cold that it transitions water vapor straight to ice without ever entering the liquid phase. One example of this occurring is frost. If you walk outside in the winter, you may notice that there is frost built up on the ground or on the windows of a car. That frost is a result of deposition. Let's review what we have learned today by testing our new knowledge. Look at this arrow. It is pointing from the ice to the water. What is the name of that phase change? Melting. What is the opposite of melting? Freezing. Now look at this arrow pointing from the cloud to the water. What phase change is that? Condensation. And what is the opposite of condensation? Evaporation. 
What should we label this arrow with? It is pointing from the cloud to the ice. A gas changing into a solid is called deposition. What is the opposite of deposition? Sublimation. You successfully identified each phase change. You did an excellent job. If you liked this video and want to learn more, go to our website, which is listed in the description below. Thank you for learning with me today.